how can you describe systemic racism if you haven't done all this research? What would you say? You'd say what I said 20 years ago. You'd say, there's a lot of racism out here. Or as I say in the book, you'll say something like, yo, I got caught up in the system. All right, now people usually say that and they mean prison, but it also refers to the entire way society's organized. We talk about racism a lot in America, but it's almost always about individuals and individual stories. In fact, racism is primarily driven by systems, and systems are interconnected policies and practices that can interconnect in such a way to create an impact that is greater than if you simply added the parts up. So you'd say, this cop did this, and that's true. But when you really pull back and tell that same story, taking into account all of the social factors that brought the African-American who was murdered in contact with this other individual, they are embedded in an entire system. And that system creates the context in which those outcomes are not just possible, but probable. You know, I'd rather fight from a truth than have to unpack a lie. But they've left us with a lot of lies to unpack, and so I'm unpacking those puppies. <laughs>